Well, you heard the man. Uh, the chairman says a five or ten minute break, uh, giving us a chance to introduce our friends and have our first discussion as part of our live coverage of the blowtorch testimony this morning from Gordon Sondland, a, uh, an owner of a chain of hotels from the Pacific Northwest, wrote a million dollar check to the inauguration um, and turns out to be the guy who has offered the most stunning testimony. Um, he has been compared to everything this morning, Brian, from John Dean to, um, as you said, taking a blowtorch to every defense Donald Trump has offered. We don't say this very often anymore because it's rarely true, but I think today changed everything. I think Gordon Sondland's testimony today changed everything. And there was a little bit of foreshadowing. He has an attorney who um, a lot of people believe was the difference between Karl Rove coming out of the Valerie Plame special counsel investigation run by Pat Fitzgerald, um, safe, legally speaking. Uh, he, his client submitted three new pages of testimony before his transcript was released, amending his decision to be more in line with um, the testimony of others. But the bombshell is that there was no irregular policy channel. There was the channel. It was run by Donald J. Trump, the president, Mike Pence, the vice president, Mike Pompeo, the secretary of state. And that channel directed an extortion of the government, the country of Ukraine, in exchange for dirt on Joe Biden. Full stop. What do the Republicans do on this committee? I mean, you know, what do they do? Maybe they pray for the Southern District of New York to indict Rudy Giuliani and try to blame it on him. Um, I think they can't be unmoved. Here's the other bombshell today. He essentially um, calls into question John Bolton's role. John Bolton's had this very angelic, um, uh, has left an impression of being on the side of angels. But if the operation, if, if there was one channel and it was run by the president, the vice president and Mike Pompeo, John Bolton knew about it. John Bolton seemed to have made efforts to cover himself by sending his deputies, Fiona Hill, Tim Morrison, and others to the White House Counsel's Office to create some sort of record of, of his alarm. But Sondland calls into question um, by citing this very jovial atmosphere where pictures were taken, and there are some of them on social media, after a meeting that's been described by Hill and others as sort of blowing up, that Bolton sent everyone out of the room when investigations came out. He might have done that. I have no reason to doubt that. But he also went to the uh, South Lawn of the White House and took pictures with everybody. So he couldn't have been that offended, or, or, or if he was... It, it, it needs to be explained by Bolton himself. It just calls into question and changes the calculation. Bolton so far has been this reluctant witness, but someone who was thought of as not having any exposure. Sondland now sticks him in the middle of what was clearly um, an effort, a conspiracy. I don't know if that's the right legal word, but a, um, the, the, you know, it wasn't an off-book operation. The operation, the policy from the president, the vice president, the American secretary of state, and I guess it's an open question whether the national security vice was in on it was to extort Ukraine for dirt on Biden. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.